Hey guys, welcome to another video from Roaming Werners. Today we are going to show you May Day, which started today and is only for a few days, so don't miss out on it in Animal Crossing New Horizons. So in the beginning Isabella is going to greet us already and make us aware that we just need to go to the airport and Dodo Airlines will tell us more about May Day and how it's going to work and that there's a ticket even ready for us. So let's go there and check what Dodo Airlines has in stock for us. Okay, so now that we are with talking with Orwell, our handy dandy little dodo, he's going to tell us that we can either normally visit someone or use the Mayday ticket. We need to be aware that the Mayday ticket is a one-time thing, so it's a very special trip, as he says, organized by Tom Nook for, just for us. And basically, yeah, we cannot take anything and we can only go once. So once we have been to the Mayday tour or the special island that we are going to see, we can never go back again, except for maybe time traveling, but we are not that kind of players. Okay, after typically saving our game, Wilbur is being asked if he can give us some wings and let's get ready and let's get going. The question what would Dodos do is typically answered with hopefully fly, but yeah, as we know Dodos had these tiny wings, right, and that ultimately led also to their extinction. After a short loading screen, as we just travel within our Nintendo Switch basically, we arrive and Wilbur is going to tell us a little bit about the Mayday tour. For example, that it's yeah, a very different island, which is a giant maze, and that an aerial view wouldn't help. This is a nod, because when we visit other people's island, basically yeah, we see it a little bit from the top, whereas here we don't have anything. Also, we have empty wings, or rather hands, so we need to trust ourselves and collect everything that we need. In the background already we see the first sign that will guide us, and some bushes and trees, so let's see what that is. We can always go for the rescue and yeah, he will extract that basically directly. Okay, so it's time to go right about November Oscar Whiskey, so let's go now and explore the island. The first thing yeah, we see here is that we will pick up a tool, which is a normal shovel it seems, and we can see we have multiple trees and a maze which is made of this hedge which we got in, I think, the first March event, way back when Animal Crossing started. By the way, this is our first May Day event, as we didn't have the game last year. So first, let's collect the orange and directly eat it and cut down this tree, or rather put it in our pocket. Maybe in some videos, and especially also the Nintendo screenshots, you saw cherries. Unfortunately, our base fruit basically for the island is an orange, so we will just get that. Uh, and depending on your base fruit, you will also get that. So there is no way to keep a fruit from here and grow it on your island. We pick up the two wood and go to the right to explore what we have. Pick up some more fruits. Okay, now we have two more fruits, oranges. What can we do? Either we can destroy this rock and directly connect another orange. But we also remember that we have something on the other side, so let's first check there. As we can just remove the bush with our shovel most likely. And then we get access to more soft wood as well as a recipe. So after digging this out and closing the hole, we'll jump over this little water pond. Collect everything here. And now we get even the ladder recipe. We know it already, of course, based on the rating of our island. but. Yeah, here we just get it again for the sake of it. We eat an orange and break a stone to go north. Jump again over the pond and collect more wood. Okay, now that we got the wood, we have one more orange left. So let's move this tree away. And then see where it takes us. So essentially now we most likely will go south as it is not punishing us to collect these two oranges and they will most likely help us. Now it's very tempting to go north and build something but basically we don't have enough wood to build the ladder and we see that in the north there's still more wood to go 
So we'll first go all the way back, as we saw a lot of wood still in our way when we were first time here. So now we'll break the stone with one of our oranges. What you will also notice here is that the stones don't drop stones or anything like gold nuggets or iron or something like that. So basically you will go mostly empty handed from this island, I assume. We'll move the tree, collect more hardwood and then we will jump over the pond to remove the last tree in our way with our for now last orange. But at least we'll see already that we now gain access to more soft wood on the left as well as in the north we see already another orange so that will take us even a little further and now when we pan the camera we see that there is also more wood in our way so these could be at least for this normal wood the last two remaining pieces okay now we have the remaining pieces that we just collected and another orange but instead of directly going and cutting down a tree, for example, now, which could not be a smart idea, is I'm going to go back all the way to the other side and finally to the workbench, as we need to go yeah, to the little cat guy and ultimately get him. So we need to figure out how to reach there. So we'll follow the maze and also destroy this. And as you can see in my inventory, we have four wood for soft wood and to hardwood, but we already see the goal of having the last two remaining hardwood here available to us. And with these now we can craft something, which is essentially the only available item to us, and that's the ladder. As we know the ladder cannot break, so we can use it unlimited here basically, compared to the shovel that we currently have which will break after some inevitable point in time. Let's climb up and we'll get another tool. Let's check it out later though. What did we get? Uh, we get an axe. We'll go back, equip the shovel and go all the way back again. And here already you can see that there's quite a lot of more oranges as well as these golden tickets, which look like either flight tickets or already the tickets that you can buy with your Nook Miles in order to exchange them for money. So basically that is your reward, but by now you should have enough belts I assume, so they should not be that important. But of course we'll try to get them anyway. Let's check. So we have this Warren X already. Let's see what happens when we cut down this tree. It's a trusty worn X that directly is broken, <laughs> so it's a little bit of a funny item. Normally we know that this kind of X model would last quite a lot. The flimsy X lasts 40 hits and I think the other one's way way longer. So we climb up and now we have this little shortcut available after removing the bush so that we can basically traverse back and forth between the two parts that we had to before go here on this lower line. Passing the crafting workbench, we're going to eat both oranges in order to remove the trees. It always takes a lot of time actually to eat the fruits and I think there would be a quality of life update when you can have just eating multiple fruits and telling for example that you want to eat all the fruit or just a specific amount that you can check. Here, suspiciously, we see that we get three more oranges, so that means there must be at least some more things that we can take out of the way. And now you'll see this is the bush that we were before not able to have over this little pond, basically. Now we have to go back through the spiral and then again through this other spiral in order to jump one, two and three times. Dig out the tree by eating another orange and then see where it takes us. We'll see that we can then directly go to our little cat friend, which we have seen already in the, in the trailer. 
but first let's check out the beach it's completely empty and as we don't have any tools yeah we can also not go for a swim here we saw that we could have basically removed two more bushes and then take a shortcut home but yeah we want to explore the whole maze and now we'll find out and it's rover yeah, he's very cute with his purple fur and his little white patches that he has here. Yeah, he's quite a lot of traveled, right? In a lot of islands. And it's a pretty weird island. Yeah, that is. Let's see. Tom Nook sent us. And it seems Rover also knows him even. And he invited him. So we know th the whole thing was set up by Tom Nook. But Tom Nook is quite a smart guy actually here, I think. Yes, and we live, of course. Here we see that it's two word plays. One, it sure does, and it's amazing. Yeah. <laughs> sure was the funnier one, I think. And then, yeah, we are coming from Teddy Land. Ding, ding, ding. We have a winner, winner, chicken dinner. And of course, Teddy Land is great. It's our island, right? It's our five star island, even. Stay tuned for my island tour, which will for sure come in a few days. Now he's going to gift us a briefcase. If this is your second time that you visit May Day, basically you will get something different, but it's the first time that we do it. So basically, yeah, we all got the, this item first time around. Let's try to take a little photo with him. Oh yes, he comes even into position. Okay, now he turns around. Just like a real cat though, right? I mean, they just walk away. Anyway, we'll take a picture with him. But let's go back to our maze. So we'll take our ladder, climb down and then remove this bush. And here we'll get the first four of the tickets which we later can exchange for belts. And then we are going to go here to the north and past the shore. We remember we have two more oranges left. One we used for the last tree before Rover. And now we will get more, two more oranges basically, or two more fruits. Again, depends on what you had as a base fruit on your island. And we can pass, go past all of this. It's a normal beach, there's no coconuts, no nothing. And here we see already the second shortcut to the right, but first we'll eat the last three remaining fruits in order to break the stones. Yeah, and as I said before, a quality of life improvement would really be if you could eat multiple fruits at the same time. With turnips also essentially it's not allowed, but they are at least in batches of 10. But yeah, let's see. Who wants to eat turnips and not sell them? So we collected our tickets. Now we have nine in total, which we can exchange for some bells and then buy us something. For example, the new items that are there in the Nook shopping for this month, which we already saw in the Nintendo news announcement. And now we took the shortcut and that's it. And the whole island is clean. We see there are no more trees. Everything is broken. Rover is still there with his little bonfire. And we are very delighted that we managed it. And we hope that you managed it too. Okay, one last thing to do. I'll just check if Wilbur already, after we came back, told on us with Tom Nook. As he planned the whole thing. And we see him hard at work. By the way, he uses Microsoft Excel, which is... <laughs> A pretty fun little detail, I think. And he's spared no efforts putting this event together, which I believe, I mean, he had to prepare the whole island and plant the trees, so must have taken multiple days, right? But actually building this kind of maze is also a pretty cool idea for our own island, and maybe we will do that in the future. And he's so happy that yeah, Teddy Land has a vibrant community. I hope you liked this video. And if you did, please consider to subscribe. Up until the next time, signing out. Bye.